question me. I was so the next person to uh, you know was elder uh, by 20 years when I joined. So I was like 24. The next person was 44 years of age, and uh, they were extremely kind. They trusted me. They gave me opportunities. And uh, when working on those opportunities, I realized that I'm good at a few things. I could you know uh, really uh, you know obviously you know the top boss would have the vision, and you know you could be working with the team and really deliver on making those things possible at a national level. So uh, this was a national organization, and we could make things happen across India. And uh, uh, some of the, the thing, so so I was actually part of the team which uh, was uh, instrumental in making some of the first uh, projects possible in the domain of venture capital and private equity in India. So the very first elections for IECA, the very first secondary marketplace in India, uh, the very first database in India, and uh, the, the very first publication which went at that point in time to the planning commission. So all those things, I was part of the first teams which made it happen and uh, just got the confidence from there and then I realized that you know if I can do this for one company and uh, I could do things a little bit fast, not being modest, but I can, I can do things a little bit fast. So I said you know uh, why don't I see if I can help more than one company at a time. So that's how it started. So it wasn't something where, which I had been planning for a lot of years but uh, thanks to people who trusted me, thanks to people who gave me opportunities. I was eventually able to realize a few of the strengths and start. You know, uh, if I'm working with ventures, they would be at a specific point uh, at that point in time. Right? So they would be at point A and they have this vision that they have to be at point B. So how do we really work with them and, you know, really help them get there? So it was thinking about, can we really work with ventures and really help them uh, on their growth journey? So that was the basic idea. Okay. Uh, thanks. Yeah, you can obviously clap. That's perfectly fine. Right? Thank you so much. the idea and we are going to do it but how do I identify people over there I mean in these group of people how do I identify who's going to be that person who's going to work with me and make this company bigger so what you're going to do is you know you're going to identify all the different skill sets that you require in terms of delimiting the company so say if you require someone who's like you know really good at coding then you would be looking at you know people who have actually you know Build products, it could be hackathons, they could have done something, and then you look at you know, uh, how did they you know uh, work on things if it wasn't working? Okay, it's it's inevitable, right? So it might work for 10 people if you try to scale it to 100 people, it breaks. So, how only my personal opinion, which is there. So, I look at a couple of things in terms of the track record, in terms of you know, what is it that they've done. It doesn't have to be a separate company altogether, it doesn't have to be that they've you know built a company, then they've had an exit and other things, not at all. It's, it's super, super important, absolutely, absolutely. So I think uh, it's a very important and critical insight which has been given by Sir that for the right kind of startup, when we actually discussed about idea, uh, the passion, the dedication, the commitment, when we are looking at for growing of the startup, just come both the scaling of the startup, any investor looks that do they have the right team composition, whether they are passionate enough. Once they make the investment, is the team going to stick together? for the investment to further multiply and scale up further. So if you are the founder CEO and say uh, someone who might be say uh, even just the developer if they come up with a suggestion uh, you have to keep your ego aside as a founder you have to ensure that you have your ego side you are able to evaluate because you have to think about what are the things you can go wrong what is it that you can go wrong and you have to go wrong and you have to mitigate it and then I mean like, you know, obviously when you think that everything has been taken care of, you have all the constraints, you built an MVP, you launch it into the market and then you see what's happening and then you again iterate because it's still theory at this point in time. Very basic question in terms of, because see, let's say that I'm running a startup. Uh, I have one of my founders who uh, who's sitting at the back, uh, the gentleman there, he's very good in uh, coding. Uh, I am one, another founder, he's another founder. Uh, now we all three are techno technocrats. At least what that's what we say to ourselves. कि हम coding में भी बहुत अच्छे हैं, हम designing में भी बहुत अच्छे हैं, हम UI UX में भी बहुत अच्छे हैं. 
अब सर हमें मैनेजमेंट नहीं आता सो हाउ कैन दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट और इंक्यूबेशन और दोरियल प्रोग्राम हेल्प मी इन रनिंग माई स्टार्टअप सक्सेसफुली बिकॉज आई जस्ट नो टेक्नोलॉजी तो क्या मुझे एक्चुअली इन चीजों की जरूरत है so that's uh, that's a perfectly valid question so i always say there is you know wherever i go that you don't have to be hunted at everything so for example say if you are like you know your core skill set is tech you are like really good at tech you be the best at tech uh, but you also have to be you know really cognizant in terms of what's missing in the startup so you have to look at the strengths of your startup but you also have to look at the weaknesses in your startup and then you have to see ki theek hai yaar can we get someone on board who can really help with that so uh, you do the best that you know you are you are good at but ensure that you are able to get other uh, people on board and uh, programs definitely help because uh, you know you would be able to you know really interact with say instead of working with just one startup in a program you might be working with say 99 startups and in this case i believe chikwar has 120 plus startups so she has a- I want to congratulate the entire leadership faculty and the students committee at Chitkara. I was here for the session today. It's a delightful experience and I look forward to be part of many more. I wish everyone here and at the other campuses the very best.